And in the business news, Nigeria needs to deepen economic reforms and boost government revenues in order to have a sustained recovery after coronavirus-induced oil price shock that slashed income and weakened its currency. The World Bank's country director, Shaban Chodram, said this on Friday. He said Nigerians are aware they cannot simply wait for oil prices to recover as happened during the last crisis in 2016 to rebuild the economy, particularly with the health crisis caused by the pandemic. Africa's largest economy faces a situation similar to the 1980s when it rationed foreign currency amid shortages caused by a recession and currency weakness. Nigeria's current case is worsened by revenues of around 5% of GDP, which is one of the lowest in the world for similar-sized countries. The ratio stood at 8% last year before the pandemic. Still in business, the Eula Electricity Distribution Company, YEDC, together with the Adama State Government, have concluded plans to commission and reconnect Madagali and Michika areas to the national grid. The managing director, Yola Electricity Development Company, Umar Mustafa, disclosed this to newsmen while answering questions in Yola. Plan to re electrify or rehabilitate most of the facilities destroyed um, by the insurgency or some bandage. Thank God for Michika Madagadi line, the Ministry of Power assisted us by rehabilitating the line from Domboa to Madagali. Then now, as I'm talking to you now, the rehabilitation of Madagali, Minchika, Bulak is completed. Most part of Yola enjoys more than 20 hours supply in a day. But we want to increase on that one. There is still room for improvement. We want to improve it. Those who are getting 20 hours to get food, 24 hours. That is my plan. But all this thing will not be possible without determining the correct, right price of electricity, one kilowatt of electricity. And it will be passed to the customers for us to do that.